Hey, this is Jeff, and I uh, use MainStage. I'm running version 3.2.4, and I lead a, a, sometimes I lead worship using keyboard, and when I do, I like to use MainStage. Um, I've got an Axiom, an M-Audio Axiom 61. It's got four zones, so I can use um, MainStage. I have it set up so that all of my hardware controls on the Axiom are mapped to uh, MainStage layout. And I was going to show you today how to build a main stage layout from the ground up um, to map it to whatever you want to map it to. But I'm just going to show you how to how to build the actual interface to main stage. Um, so first things first, I'm going to we're going to open a new project. We're going to close this one. And uh, I find it's usually best to start with this clean keyboard minimalist. We're going to delete all the stuff in here anyway, so we'll just start with something brand new and clean. So we're going to pick that, choose that. This will open up real quick because there's not much in it. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go layout. And I like to just, I like to get a clean slate. I'm going to delete everything. Select it all, just like that, and delete. Okay. So now you've got a clean slate. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your controls from down here and drag them up here. You've got panel controls, shelf controls, group controls. Um, and then if you've saved grouped controls, and then you know, you've got a list that has everything in it. Um, I'll show you how to create some of your own groups. Um, I've created a couple groups, you know, uh, like this one. You know, I went through and I created this. So I've got all my knobs for my Axiom, and that's my pads, but, but I'll show you guys how to do that. So uh, I start with panel controls usually, because I, I like to have my text up here. So we're going to start with uh, parameter text. Um, sorry, that's not what we're going to start with. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can kind of start. Uh, so if you go to group controls, what I usually like to start with instead of the parameter text is the uh, um, large patch display here. And that'll pull up this information here. So I, I like to have that up top. I know we just deleted it, but that's okay. So we're going to start with that. And then I usually like the compact patch list because I only need to see one or two patches at a time. And I'll expand that to, to match up there. Okay, so my Aviom has, like I said earlier, I've got four zones. So what that means is that I've got four different MIDI channels coming out. And I'm going to patch those to individual keyboards. So I can have, I can play I, on the, on the Avion, I can control um, up to four sounds individually and I can, I can enable those or dis disable those with a quick key press on my Avion. So what that lets me do is that lets me um, assign different sounds to each, each zone so I can, you know, I can play layered um, within the key keyboard itself. So I'm going to pull in four shelved keyboards here. And I like to I like to make them all about the same size. So what I'll do is instead of doing that, I'll take this one. I'll do a Command C, which will copy it, and then a Command V, which will paste it. Um, and then we can we can just kind of click and drag and move it around. Um, if you if you, you see how it's flat like this, it's because the orientation is uh, is um. You can make it bigger and smaller. Yeah. Now there's a way usually to, to click it. Uh, I think the um, the shelf is, yep, there we go. So this is the problem is if you, you have to be very careful using these shelves um, because they will, uh, they'll move around on you without you realizing it. So what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give the shelf to a line. There we go. Let's see. So if this is butt up against the, the top of the shelf, and you can tell where the shelf is by that white line. And then you just, you can uh, click on the, this white line here, the bottom one, and you can change that orientation. Uh -huh. See that? Okay. So I'm gonna pull this one down. I'm gonna shrink this one up a bit. I do that by clicking on this corner here. And I could also click in the middle, shrink it down. There we go. And then if you need to change how many keys are displayed, so if I want to make this, uh, let's say you only have 49 keyboard, you select this shelf, you click over here, 49, enter. Yep. 
and then uh, I'll show you in a different video how to assign it. But that's pretty much it. You just uh, you, you click the the elements down here, um, and you you drag them up. Now if you, now let's say like so, I've got uh, on my my the Avium's got eight round knobs. So what what and you want to create a let's say you wanted to create a new group. So what you do is you take these knobs. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take four of them here. So instead of dragging them up, I'm just gonna select it and paste. Uh huh. And then paste again. See that? And then paste again. And it'll it'll click into place. And it'll line up with you. And then what you can do is I can select all of them, and I can go um, align vertical center. What I want to do is align horizontal center. See how it did that? But now if I go back to vertical center, then you can undo by doing uh, Apple Z. Line vertical center would line them up. So let's say one of them was just slightly out of line. I can select them all, align vertical center. All right, so I'm going to take these, copy all four of them. So I select all four, and then I do another Command C. Command V, pastes. I'm going to offset them a bit. Make sure they don't overlap. There you go. And what I can do is I can select all eight of them. Now I can right click or uh, using my my command pad on my Mac MacBook, my uh, trackpad, I, I use two finger click. You hit group. And then when you group it, now I've got a group here. And so what you can do is you can right click on if you click on the background, the group, you can actually change the way the panel looks. Let's say you want to turn it red or blue, or you can upload your own image. Um, usually, I just like using the this uh, this one here. It's got the nice little edges. And then now, as a group, I can shrink the whole thing, or grow it, mm -hmm. and then I can um, I can right click it, and I can add to palette. And when I add to palette. This takes the uh, this takes the group and puts it down here, and so now next time I can uh, rename this group control. I can turn it into uh, you know I, I called mine others axiom knobs axiom knobs. Hit OK, and then I'll um and then it'll be saved there. So next time if I want to pull it up, I can just pull it up, and uh, you can do that with any type of groups. You can do uh, faders or knobs or any of these options here. So. Um, that's it for this one. We'll, uh, we'll show you some other things next time.